Ninjas are awesome, but zombie ninjas are just next level. However, zombie ninjas who can drop meteors are just peak coolness. That is a major reason why the super ninja Madara is one of the coolest characters in the entire series of Naruto, and as it turns out, that meteor dropping is exactly what we're going to calculate today. We are obviously going to calculate some feats from the manga, but we also have some rocks that he dropped from the games to calculate as well. So, like Madara, drop whatever you're doing so that you can focus on this video as we calculate the power of the Tengai Shinsei. Hello internet, Jojo here, and of all the characters in Naruto, Madara is probably my favorite, despite his confusing mess of powers and abilities. Of course, when I say favorite, it's like how someone would say that Hisoka or Akainu is their favorite. They are horrible people, definitely not role models, but they're just so dang cool. What Madara is likely known best for is his insane flexes. Whether it be asking the Kages if they would like to fight his clones with or without Osuzano, or going hand in hand with an entire army. However, my favorite moment is after the Kage stopped one of his meteors, he pulled a Yoda no. there is another. and dropped another meteor. I mean, talk about a flex. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. This jutsu called Tengai Shinsei, or translated literally to English, Heavenly Obstacle Quaking Star. Naruto really goes out with their names. At least the name of jutsus and abilities. The names of their characters, on the other hand, are from food, flowers, and cereal. This alone is the reason you can't take the name of an attack literally. Anyways, the first Tengai Shinsei that we're going to calculate is from the manga and anime, as they are easily the weakest of the many incarnations of this feat that we're going to talk about in this video. So this is actually very simple, as all we have to do is outline the meteor and compare it to the smallest pillar in this panel, and then compare this pillar to the people, and this rock comes out to be about 1,981.88 meters long, and 1,736.7 meters wide. Applying a density of 3,700 kilograms per cubic meter, and this would have a mass of about 11.581 trillion kilograms. This is about 219 times heavier than the Great Wall of China. So with the weight calculated, we now need to find its speed, However, there is a slight issue with this. You see, it's likely not moving as fast as many other meteors. From the limited amount of information we have from this ability, these rocks are pulled from the upper atmosphere. However, in both the manga and anime, neither of the rocks are moving fast enough to have ignited the atmosphere. Also, when the second one hits, the ground only shakes a little bit. If it was moving at meteor speeds, it would have caused a massive explosion that would have vaporized pretty much everyone in the area. Not to mention that it is described as being dropped. However, I'm not unreasonable, so I'll go ahead and give you the results for both being dropped and hitting the ground at meteor-like speeds. First, we'll go with the energy from being dropped. Taking this rock's dimensions and mass, and we find that it has a terminal velocity of 508 meters per second, or Mach 1.5. This is actually not that far off from low-end meteor speeds. This rock would have a kinetic energy of 358 megatons of TNT. This is about 6 times the energy of the most powerful hydrogen bomb ever deployed. So it is incredibly, incredibly powerful. If we assume that it was moving at the fastest meter speeds, this would have a kinetic energy of 7.08 teratons of TNT, over 19,750 times more power than if it was just dropped. As I mentioned before, this is just the absolute weakest of the meters that he's dropped in Naruto media. Every other feat we're talking about comes from Ninja Storm 3 and 4. This first one comes from a team-up combo with Obito and Madara. Obito makes his huge tree, and Madara brings this rock crashing down. This rock is not quite the same as a meteor, but it still acts the same way, so it should be fine. Comparing the clouds around this mountain to the rock, and this rock comes to be about 4,539 meters in diameter. This would mean that this rock has a volume of about 49 billion cubic meters and a mass of about 181.3 trillion kilograms. Now, this meteor is moving so fast that as it fell, it was incinerating Obito's tree. From that, we can assume that it was moving at top speeds of around 160,000 miles per hour, or Mach 208. This grants us a kinetic energy of 110 teratons of TNT, about 103 teratons more than the max of the previous feat. However, this is blown out of the water by the last feat. This last feat is literally the same meteor from the manga, but it's a different version. The difference in the manga is that the second meteor that Madara drops is far larger than the first. 
by taking the height of low-level clouds, which are typically about 2,000 meters in the sky, this first rock is about 2,858 meters long, 2,497 meters wide, and weighs about 34.558 trillion kilograms. This is roughly three times larger than the rock from the manga, yet the second rock is still leagues larger. Comparing the small rock to large rock, and we find that it's about 25 times larger than the small rock, and 75 times heavier than the rock from the manga. These rocks are definitely moving at meteor speeds, as they are definitely on fire from their speed. So, assuming a high-end speed of 160,000 miles per hour, and the kinetic energy from the large rock should be around 533 teratons of TNT. Adding the energy from the smaller meteor in this, and we get a total of 554 teratons of TNT. Now, this covers all of Madara's most notable meteors, except when it gets power from the Tentails. However, just for fun, let's calculate this. <laughs> this feat here is likely far more powerful than when Madara cut these mountains in his fight with Hashirama, and that was using his Susano M9 tails. By comparing Madara to the Pentagon on the Susano's forehead, and the Pentagon to its sword, we can then take its sword to use as a ruler in this feat. Using the sword, we can compare the height of the mountain above the cut to the base of the cut and get a volume of about 55.33 trillion cubic centimeters for all seven cut mountains. Taking a density of about 2.75 grams per cubic centimeter and assuming that all these mountains are similar size, we get a total mass of 152 billion kilograms. These mountains rocket up about 343 meters in 0.04 seconds. This distance and time would put these mountaintops moving at about 19,200 miles per hour or Mach 20. So to get 152 billion kilograms moving at Mach 20, and accounting for acceleration would require Madara to be striking with about 19.404 gigatons of TNT. This is much stronger than if you just dropped the first meteor, but drastically weaker than the rest of the feats. While many of these feats were from a game, they can still be used in a debate, provided they are not too far above what characters have shown in the manga. In all reality, these feats might actually be too high for the manga to justify. Even if Madara made something the size of the Grand Canyon when he fought Hashirama, they would not hit the Terraton range. Unless they vaporized or something. That said guys, thanks for watching, see you next time, remember to stay spectacular, Jojo, out. But now, just what are you going to do about the second one, Onoki?